tutorial number four, I explained the basic tuning and winding options accessible from the FISIS tuning control panel. There are, however, further subtleties in tuning, wind supply and keyboard touch sensitivity that can be introduced to tailor the organ's behaviour. For example, there are various ways in which celestes can be tuned for an authentic effect. The wind supply can be made to emulate various natural characteristics and the key touch can be made to control virtual pipe speech. Celeste stops involve one or more ranks that are detuned in relation to others in order to create a beat frequency that results in an undulating or shimmering tone quality. If we take a look at the voicing parameters page for a typical swell string Celeste, you can see there's both a detune parameter and a detune type. Celestes on physis organs are always single ranks that need to be sounded with another complementary stop, so we'll turn it on together with the adjacent gamba. And the detune can be either sharp, that's positive, and you can have positive values up to eight, or it can be flat, as some celestes or undulating stops need to be tuned flat. And as we increase the value, you'll hear that the beat frequency increases. The detune type, on the other hand, affects the way that the beat frequency changes as the note pitch increases. With pipe organ tuning, there have traditionally been two alternatives for celestes, one where the beat rate remains relatively constant across the scale, and another where it gets faster as the pitch increases. Type A is relatively even across the scale, whereas B and C get faster to different degrees at the top of the scale. The bottom octave remains pretty much the same in all these modes, and the setting is very much a matter of taste and the timbral quality that you're trying to achieve. From version 1.11 of Physis, you can choose the style of wind supply. This emulates the subtle pitch fluctuations of the instrument in response to the quantity of air demanded by the pipes, and works in conjunction with the overall air pressure function on the main tuning page. It's accessed from the Setup menu, and we go down to the second page here to find Air Supply Configuration. And here you can see that it's possible to choose from a number of options. Standard, the first setting shown here, offers the same behaviour found on previous Physis versions, although slightly improved in realism. Baroque Small, which is the next one up, emulates the behaviour of a small Baroque organ with particularly sensitive and unstable wind. Baroque Large, on the other hand, emulates the behaviour of a large Baroque organ, being more stable and with a slower response to transients. Romantic emulates the behaviour of a large romantic or symphonic organ with a rather stable wind supply, but one that has a noticeable ensemble effect when big chords are played. And finally, gently flexible emulates the behaviour of an organ equipped with flexible winding, affecting the instrument in a very gentle manner. And if we skip down to the next screen, you can see that it's possible to adjust the magnitude of this effect for each manual separately, with eight steps of intensity. So you could have the grate responding more to changes in wind pressure than the swell, for example. So in order to demonstrate this, I've set a big registration on the organ in order that there's a lot of wind demanded from the pipes. And I've reduced the air pressure quite a lot and increased the sensitivity to it on the grate so that the effect is exaggerated somewhat. And um, we can demonstrate this by holding down uh, a note at the top of the keyboard while simultaneously sounding a large chord at the bottom. And you can hear that when there's a lot of wind demanded by the pipes from the big chord at the bottom, the pitch of the upper note dips somewhat and then it recovers when the chord is lifted. And that was for the romantic style of wind supply. And if we change that to something like Baroque Small, 
you can hear that the nature of the pitch dip of the upper note and its recovery is to some extent different. So that's obviously somewhat exaggerated and you would want the effect to be quite a lot more subtle for a real setup. Pipe organs with mechanical action offer some control over the way that the pipe speaks during the onset and offset of a note, depending on the speed with which a key is pressed or released. The tracker touch function of Physis emulates this by sensing the key velocity and adjusting the attack and release of virtual pipe speech accordingly. With flue stops only the attack is affected, whereas the release is affected on all stops. Tracker Touch is turned on from the Utilities and MIDI page of the Physis control panel. And you can see it's number three here on the first page. We'll turn it on and you should be able to hear that the note attack of this four foot principal stop changes depending on how hard I hit the key, both in terms of its speed and startup shift. So if I hit the key relatively slowly, you'll hear that the startup shift and the attack are relatively gentle. Compared with when I hit it more quickly. Where you should be able to hear that the attack is sharper and the startup shift is slightly more prominent. It's a subtle effect, but one that can be appreciated while performing. If we scroll down to the bottom of this menu, we find pedal and keyboard touch. Here there are options to change the key velocity response curves of the tracker touch function. And set to fixed 64, as for the pedal division shown here, that's that one. A fixed MIDI velocity value of 64 is used no matter what speed the pedal is depressed, so there's essentially no touch effect. The other options, say for the grate here, are soft, normal and hard, which affect the scaling of key velocity. And this can be used to change the way the instrument responds to your touch during performance. I've shown you a number of features during this tutorial that highlight the attention to detail and range of flexibility possible in tuning, winding and touch response of physis organs. It's subtleties such as these that make the difference between playing an instrument that sounds bland and unmusical and one that responds in a convincing and natural way to your playing. The physical modelling approach to creating pipe sounds means that virtual pipe and wind parameters can interact in a realistic way, responding dynamically to your performance technique.